Okay, folks. Looks like uh, looks like I'm recording. Now, what we can see here are the the two neo magnets uh, on a frame. You can see the one neo on the top. The others. Uh, on the bottom in the opposite uh, orientation. Now, if you look closely, you can see I have 20 ceramic magnets. Five in each block. And uh, I got a 12 volt relay up in the left hand corner. What I'm going to do is walk over to the battery and uh, give it a brief pulse and we can watch the action on the, on the ceramic block magnets. quick little tap on that. This is not a fair test because there's a, there's a breeze in the background, but uh, I'm going to go give it one more tap here. You can see the one on the bottom right, how it's shivering there. And about a four to one rhythm to the, uh, to the mover magnet. One on the lower right. That seems to take a long, long time to slow down and stop. It just keeps going. And I hit it again. this. 
once it's in equilibrium. <sighs> Look at that one down on the lower left. I plan a uh, spiral output coil, spiral pancake output coil with a diameter, an in, in, uh, ID internal diameter, you know, about the uh, distance between the magnets. So the actual coil should only be a couple of inches along those serving plates, top and bottom. We'll see, this could turn out to be a perpetual motion gizmo. I'm going to give it another short little burst. <sighs> momentum and that magnet there it goes that's after three or four little taps That's enough for now. 